The dairy cows on Spokane's family farm are a happy herd. With green pastures, clean corrals, healthy helpings of hay, and lots of love. I'm passionate about cows. I love good cows. In order to be a dairy farmer, you really need to love your cows, and we love our cows. They're kind of like family. You don't have to be fluent in bovine to understand that life here is pretty sweet. Nestled on the West Plains of Eastern Washington, Spokane's family farm is home to some of the freshest milk in the Northwest. Established in 2008 by Mike and Trish Vieira, the dairy's mission is black and white, to provide customers with high quality, lightly processed milk that is delivered just as nature intended. On Spokane's family farm, milk goes from cow to cup in less than 72 hours and travels just 20 miles. If you want to do it any better or any fresher than that, you have to have your own cow. It is so creamy and so wholesome. And I have had children say that they don't need chocolate in their milk anymore because Spokane's Family Farm milk is that sweet and it comes naturally that sweet. But the taste alone it usually sells our milk right up front. We've never had anyone ever say that it wasn't awesome. When you taste Spokane Family Farms milk, it's just rich and it just is creamy in a different way than I've ever tasted before. It tastes wholesome. It just tastes like real food. You drink a glass of this milk and you're like, oh, is this what milk is supposed to taste like? <laughs> Modern milking machines help this dairy produce about 500 gallons of milk every other day. But the Vieiras still take a hands-on approach when it comes to milk production and care of their cows. We renovated a farm that was built in 1937, hasn't seen a dairy cow on it since about 1962. We milk in a flat barn. I have to squat down to milk every cow. I feed by hand in the parlor. So everything's still pretty manual and hard work. Come on girls, let's go. A typical day here on the farm. I get up at 4.30 in the morning. I'm out here by 4.35. I just go out to the barn. I throw down hay for the cows, uh, walk through the cows, get them all up, make sure everybody's okay and up at the feed bunk eating before I go into the barn and start setting up to sanitize and okay, on, getting girls. ready to milk. And about 5.05, it's time to milk and I bring the girls into the barn. Come on, girls. And uh, it takes me about an hour to milk and then about another hour to clean up when I'm done. Every other day is a little different. On my bottling days, as soon as I'm done, I transferring raw milk into the pasteurizer and getting ready for bottling. Meanwhile, I'm doing all my cleanup out here. I'm harrowing my corrals. I feed the cows one more time at 10. Then I usually have just the time to go get cleaned up before I go into the bottling room. So I'm in there for a couple hours bottling and then cleaning up. And then that milk, I'll take it right directly to the distributor and uh, get back in home in time to maybe grab a bite to eat and get back out to start milking again for the evening milking. It's a long day. I've been passionate for the dairy industry and dairy cattle since my first visit to my uncle's farm in second grade. And that's when I got the itch, got the bug to, um, needed to have dairy cows and got it in my blood. You know, it's kind of like the old saying says that you can take the girl out of the country and never take the country out of the girl. And that's kind of me from the get-go. I was farming since a very little girl and just love the critters. State licensed and federally approved, Spokane's family farm follows strict guidelines to ensure their milk is safe, pure, and natural. Come on, girls. But it's not organic, and there are 30 good reasons why. Come on, girls. Our herd's valuable to us, so we wanted to reserve the right to use antibiotics in a life-threatening situation. On an organic farm, we can't have an antibiotic on the farm, where our philosophy was, we'll just take her out of the herd if we ever have to treat them. We're natural. We cannot ship any milk with antibiotics. We have a drug lab because we have to test every batch of milk for antibiotics. So if we have to treat a cow, she comes out of the milk tank, we milk her separately, and she gets tested until she tests negative for antibiotics, and that, which at that time she can go back into the herd. Come on, mama. The milk components are kept very, very natural. We do the best we can to keep it as preserved as we can just as it came from the cow. It is pasteurized only for safety, very lightly at 145 degrees, and then we do not homogenize, so we skip that whole step altogether. So you get that wonderful cream on top that cows are supposed to produce, and you get to do what you want with that. If you want to make butter with your kids or if you want to drink it, that's just, it's all good. It's all personal preference. <laughs> Field trips aren't just for kids, and on Spokane's family farm, tours let people see where the milk they're drinking came from and how it got there. You're so fuzzy. 
Last year, about 8,000 visitors stopped by this little house on the dairy. I could actually come out to the farm and I could bring my boys out here and actually show them where the milk is coming from. To actually have them be able to see the process, it's just, it, it makes it more than just the milk we drink. I just kind of like seeing all the animals for the first time, just because like you see them on TV all the time, but then once you see them in person, then it's just like, you can interact with them. Here at Spokane Family Farm, I get the joy of cooking for the people that come for my tours. They have a choice of either ending their tour with our fresh milk with homemade cookies, or they get to have homemade ice cream. The eggs that I use and the cream and the milk comes right off this farm. They get to see it handled, they get to see where it comes, and they get to taste the finished product. And that just, you don't get any better feeling than that. That is just what we're about. There you go. Thanks, Mike. Thank yep. you. Thank you. Milk yeah, thank from you Spokane's Family Farm oh, is available oh right on the dairy and at grocery stores throughout the Northwest. The Vieiras are sure after one sip you'll agree that milk from their contented cows is the cream of the crop. Dairy farming is such a hard job, but you have to love the cows, you have to love what you do, and you have to have that purpose when you go to bed at night completely exhausted. It's an exhaustion that just gives you a, a, a solid piece about who you are and where we are in this world. Trish and my name go out on every single jug of milk. It's right there, Mike and Trish, bottled by Spokane's Family Farm. It's a very small farm, a very simple farm. It's awfully hard work, but everything we do, we do with pride. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.